Welcome to this special Christmas Eve episode. It would be more appropriate if I did a free CCP, but I guess beggars can't be choosers, so Bubble Gloop Swamp it is! So to start us off, um, Bottles tells us that uh, there's only one move to be found here, and it's right at the entrance, that's right. Whereas in Clanker's Cavern we had to go all over creation to find it, here it's right by the entrance. T thank God too, because we're gonna need that move a lot in here. These things are the waiting boots. They allow you to uh, go through dangerous terrain for a limited time, such as uh, um, the, the water that, uh, that's in this swamp that is uh, infested with piranhas. I'm not going to uh, try and trigger it on purpose to show you what happens, because I'm pretty sure that it's going to happen eventually anyway, so no sense in taking damage for no reason. Now, these things... Uh, you got, you want to shoot an egg into these things. See, there we go. They look, they look a lot like claptraps. They're called croctuses or crocti, whatever. I was about to say, I don't really, I don't remember their real names. So I'm just going to call them claptraps. But crocti, okay, fair enough. So, up there, yeah, you can climb these and uh, find some items on top. You can find mumbo tokens and notes sometimes as well. So, uh, before testing out the waiting boots, I'm just going to uh, grab these notes over there. And uh, there is, um, okay, I believe there's some, there might be something interesting uh, on top of that, uh, that um, little pole thingy. Um, but, uh, let's see, I guess. A few eggs. Well, at least, um, a a at least I'm going to be erasing all the consequences of my, uh, dentistry mishap in the last video. So, let's head over there and grab this, uh, Jinjo. And, uh, let's, uh, try the... No, 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 no! Oh, man, why did I ground pound? Anyway, this is what happens when you end up in, uh, the water in the swamp. But you take a bit of damage and you get bitten by the piranhas. Now, behind that, uh, that, that uh, platform where the Jinjo was, there's a mumbo token. It's rather easy to miss, so I, sp I strongly suggest that you check every nook and cranny of this level, because there is a lot of stuff that's hidden rather well. This is where the game really starts getting a little more difficult. No, don't fall off, don't fall off. You might be wondering about that switch over there. Uh, I'm not going to uh, trigger it just yet, because um, it's... It's uh, one of those uh, time jiggies where you have to reach it in a certain amount of time. And the time limit, in my experience, is... Well, it's not exactly tight, but if you mess up, you're probably gonna have to start all over. Oh, come on! Okay, there we go. There are five of these in total, and you have to feed them all in order. Uh, so, uh, the second one doesn't appear until you feed the first one, and so on and so forth. Uh, something that I want to mention as well, I am not going to be going for all the Jiggies in this run. The reason for that is because, in my opinion, the second hardest Jiggy in the game is in this level. And I'm going to need an, uh, an upgrade that's found in a later level in order to make it easier. So, um... Yeah, I'm only going to be going for nine Jiggies in this run. Don't worry, I'm going to be grabbing everything else, and the last Jiggy will be done on a subsequent run. So, now that we've gotten everything in this area, it's time to trigger that switch. And so I gotta make it all the way back to the end. Now, this can be a bit tricky. You, you want to hurry up, but at the same time, you have to be really careful with your camera angles and such. Uh, I, I don't really recommend using the Talon Trot all the way through, especially if you're not very experienced at this game. No, I didn't want to get a close-up on the camera. Thank you very much. Okay, now you just want to take it slow. Very slow, and... Uh, as, lo as long as you don't screw up, you're gonna be fine, but if you do, then uh, you're... This is when uh, you're gonna be really, uh, uh, lacking in terms of time. Now, let's head over there. Is that where you get ambushed by a crap ton of enemies? I don't think so. Nope, just those two frogs, so... Let's kill them! And grab those eggs, because, well, I'm, I'm still not full, wow.
And, okay, we got that little raft thing. I'm, go I'm gonna use the waiting boost because I believe that there is something that's actually in the swamp behind uh, that little island over there, and I was right, there are a few uh, nodes to be grabbed. And I think I screwed up getting out of that log earlier, and yeah, time's running out, so... There we go. Uh, there was nothing else on there anyway. Now there's this giant egg that you're gonna ground pound it. I'm just gonna grab that extra life as well. Ground pound it. There's another egg inside for that one. You're gonna need to use the ratatat wrap. Then ground pound this egg. Then, I guess, uh, can I do the ratatat wrap? No, I think I need uh, the beak barge for this. One of the only cases where this move is actually of any use. And there we go, it's just as simple as that. Uh, the waiting boots, as I said, uh, they work for a limited time, though I think each pair of waiting boots in the game has a different uh, time limit, depending on uh, where it is, because sometimes they're, uh, they're only going to last a few seconds, and uh, at other times they're going to last a really long time. Note that you can also cancel them at any time by pressing B, so if you want to go back to... Uh, regular mode, for lack of a better term, then uh, you just press B. Now I guess this is where you get ambushed by uh, a crap ton of frogs, so after our goal, so you gotta kill all the frogs in order to uh, get their jiggy. Now, let's see. Mm, yeah, I, re I didn't remember them taking more than one hit. Ow! Uh, but yeah, they are uh, ground enemies, and they take more than one hit, so I don't really recommend using the Ratatat Wrap for these guys. Just keep rolling around, even though the roll isn't nearly as good as in Banjo-Tooie. It's still one of the few times in this game where it's going to come in handy. Get back over here. Thank you. Okay. How many of these things are there? I think it's, this is the last one, maybe? Yeah, there we go. I guess you could also uh, uh, use the, some gold feathers and let them charge at you, but as you just saw, this is nowhere near difficult enough to warrant that. Now, over there in this area, there um, are going to be some uh, treetop huts, I guess. And as you can see, there are notes and a Jinjo and Mumbo tokens and eggs in the swamp water, and there are no waiting boots to be found in the area. Now you might be wondering, how the heck are you supposed to get that? Well, we're going to get to that uh, eventually in this level. Don't worry, it's nothing difficult at all. Just have to uh, think of coming back here after um, you've obtained what you need. So, which switch number four here? It's not gonna make uh, the... G appear outright, instead it's going to uh, destroy part of uh, the witch hat that that um, Gruntilda Scarecrow thingy had um, you know, in the room before the entrance to Bubble Gloop Swamp, and uh, you, you saw that the, the Jiggy was in a cage there, so as you might have guessed, we're going to have to fall from above, which is something that we're going to be taking care of. Uh, bit later on. Now, this is uh, Croctus number three, I believe. There we go. So number four appears. Yeah, I haven't been there yet, so I the, the game hasn't trolled me really hard yet by just sending me back uh, in an area that I didn't explore. But believe me, we're going to be doing quite a bit of backtracking in this level when we get uh, further into it. So, uh, the highest uh, treetop hut had a uh, Jiggy in it, so we're gonna head back over to uh, more or less the center area of um, Bubble Gloop Swamp, the, the part where I was ambushed by those frogs, as well as the area with that, uh, with that time Jiggy switch. And over there, you can see a giant turtle. Its name is Tank Top, and it's gonna ask you to um, um, warm up its feet, I guess, and you do that by ground pounding them. Yeah, it's the same thing as um, the, this whole uh, dentist shtick in uh, Clanker's Cavern. All problems in this world can be solved with violence. I especially love in Banjo-Tooie, uh, 
side quest involving uh, the, the Ice Cube couple that they... Uh, you, just, yeah, you want to reunite them, but eventually you end up uh, killing them both, so they're... Uh, they're reunited in the in high in Ice Cube Heaven. That was pretty cool. But yeah, that's really all you had to do to get this jiggy. Now I'm just going to take care of uh, this ginger over there. If I can just no, get up there, get up. No. Okay, let's uh, let's try another method. Okay, this one works. So let's head over to. Uh, okay, there was only a beehive there. Nothing too important. And, oh god, oh god, oh god, please don't hit me. I was about to say, please don't hit me while I, uh, cancel out the waiting boots, but, uh, the game wasn't very generous in that aspect. Oh well. At, le at least it didn't, it, it didn't screw me over massively. Now, let's grab this Jiggy, and inside the tank top, uh, because, yes, you can go inside tank top, and I guarantee you, this thing isn't an anatomically correct turtle. Far from it. Now, there are a few notes to grab, and once that's done, we're going to be heading into a little memory game. Now, usually, I have pretty good memory, but for that kind of memory game, for some reason, I tend to suck ass. So, quiet please, the famous Tip Top Choir will now perform my latest work. And yes, this is the same Tip Top from uh, Diddy Kong Racing. Teal, blue, pink. Okay, we're starting out with uh, three notes, and after that it's going to be five and then second. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, this guy debuted in, um, in Diddy Kong Racing, but uh, he makes a cameo here as well as in Banjo-Tooie. Banjo also debuted in uh, Diddy Kong Racing, actually. Fun little fact that I almost uh, uh, forgot to say. And so did Conquer as well on top of that. So, time for lesson two. Pink, blue, pink, red, teal. Pink, blue, pink, red, teal. Okay, here's pink, blue, pink. I said pink. Red, and... Teal. Wait a minute, why the hell am I saying teal? It's not teal, it's cyan! Sorry, I'm, I'm not colorblind or anything, it's just I screwed up. English isn't my first language, remember? Anyway, blue, red, yellow, purple, cyan, blue, and red. Okay, this is rough. Think blue, red, yellow, and after that... I think it's uh, purple, then cyan, and after that, blue and red. Or was it red and blue? I'm gonna try blue and red, see uh, if it's gonna work, and yeah, it's blue and red, so... Got an extra jiggy right there. Yeah, I'm getting paid for inflicting serious bodily harm on, on his students. As I said, in the world of Banjo, violence. Always the solution! So, how many Jiggies do we have in this world? Six already? We're doing well! Now, as a little extra, extra honeycomb piece on top of um, uh, Tip Top's desk. It's easy, it's easy to miss, but if, uh, if you know about it, then uh, you're never going to forget it. Now, there is still one big area in this place that we haven't been to yet. And I believe it's right over there with the giant crocodile head. Uh, the, the, the really hard G I was talking about is inside that uh, giant crocodile head. So I'm going to abstain from uh, getting it for now, as I said earlier. Uh, instead, I'm just going to go around collecting the rest of what this world has to offer. Uh, okay, we got um, the... I was about to say the, the Fort Croctopus, but Croctopus is a, an underwater enemy from Donkey Kong Country. It's a Croctus, not a Croctopus. There we go. And the last one appears right behind... Uh, right behind Tip Tups. Uh, Tank Tup, sorry. So we're going to have to head back over there eventually, but not today because we are running out of time. So I'm just going to grab these notes and the Jinjo over there and 
I am going to call it quits for today, so let's just kill this bugger. Oh, come on! How hard can it be? Kill it! Kill it! Die! Thank you! So, Merry Christmas!